Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again. Today I'm in my Antics 13.2 installation. I'm running the default ISWM-ROCKS desktop. I'm going to show you how, something I can't believe I haven't shown you before, I'm going to show you how to edit, custom, uh, customize your menu and your uh, toolbar. So I'll come down here to the Antics menu. I'm going to show you my menu. Now this menu is customized. You see I've got Netflix on here. Connect shares, disconnect shares. I got some Gmail links and some uh, web links. I want to show you how that works. So we're going to open up the Control Center by clicking on the tool on the tools icon, or you can come over here to Control Center and open it that way. And I'm going to click on ISWM settings. So that's where I'm at. And I'm going to click the Menu tab. And on the Menu tab, you can see I've added all these custom items. Now the only part of the ISWM menu in Antics that's automated is this section right here where it says Menu File Applications. That file is generated by the Update Menu application and you really don't want to edit anything in this line. What you really want to do is edit either in the top level or to make your own submenu. And if you look, it, it's pretty easy to make a the, to understand the format of this. This is the, the top level of the menu, but as we come down you'll see here's a menu for terminal apps and then a sub-menu for multimedia and then a sub-menu for network. So you see how that works. Here is terminal apps, multimedia, network, and there's actually an office sub-menu too. You see they're actually indented. They have these little brackets. The format is not too tough. Now I'm going to show you how to add a, a link to um, uh, Space FM, for instance. Uh, I like to have both file managers available in the window. Right now, using Rocks, if I click on File Manager, I'm going to get the Rocks um, File Manager. If I go, Rock, Space FM by default is in Tools, Filers, and Space FM, but I want on the top top level where I can get to it easily. So I'm going to come down here, and I am actually going to copy this line. The format of the line is the same, of the program line, is the same no matter where you are in the menu. Prog for program, quotes in the title, space FM, the location of an icon. Now if you don't want an icon, that's fine. Just put no icon in this line. You really want to have something here. And then the executable, which is whatever you would run from the command line. So that would be, in this case, space FM. So I'm going to copy that line and I'm going to paste it in the top level. Whoops, I don't think I actually hit control C on that. Let's try again. I'll use the menu this time. And copy. And paste. There we go. Now I'm going to save that file. Now the neat thing about ISWM's menu is as soon as you save the file, it will show up. And there it is, space FM. And there's my home and there's uh, the last folder to open, which is how it's set up by default. If you want command line switches, you can put in command line switches. This is how I've done my Gmail. You can see I have prog, Gmail, in quotes, so that's the title. This is an I, a special icon I downloaded. I just pulled it off the internet and I put it in user share icons for convenience. So user share icons, Gmail icon.png. And then the location of the executable, which I'm actually going to run it in Ice Weasel. So it's user bin, Ice Weasel. I probably don't need the user bin, but, uh, you know, okay. User bin, Ice Weasel. And then since Ice Weasel can take a command line argument of the website, I just put it in the website, mail.google.com. And my Gmail will come right up. I've done the same thing with Chromium, and I have it starting youtube.com because I do that a lot, and then I have a Facebook link, same as the Gmail, that goes to my Facebook account. Uh, you can do this with any application, any command that you want to run, uh, as, as long as you get it into this line to save, uh, into this file. Now the toolbar at the bottom actually uses the same format, but obviously there's not as many sub, there's no submenus. Good tool, and you see it has the same format, and you just, if you want the uh, I've added space FM here as well. It's the same format as the menu file. It's just in the toolbar file, and it'll show up down here. Now you may have to run. Uh, whoops, you may have to uh, restart. Let's try that. I'm going to comment that line out by putting a pound sign. That's a universal comment symbol. Click save. Yeah, see. 
you see you had to restart IceWM from the menu before uh, that icon was gone. So if I set it, pause, save, and then I will restart IceWM and you'll see it on there. And there you go, I hit restarted IceWM. It crashes the uh, Voco screen, so, um, so uh, restart IceWM, this is the menu option, and it reloads all the startup files and everything, all the toolbar files. And there it is, spacebar's on my, space FM is on my toolbar. So that's how you edit the menu and the toolbar uh, files in uh, IceWM. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org, throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.